First things first, I have a question for you. Have you ever felt like you walked into your closet and even though it is full of clothes, there is not a single thing in there that you actually wanna put on? Yeah, I felt like that all the time. Add into the mix the fact that I've been pregnant or breastfeeding or postpartum on and off for the last six years and my wardrobe was a bit of a mess. And all I really wanted was a wardrobe full of clothes that I actually wanted to wear that I felt amazing wearing that fit me and looked great on me. I'm a stay at home mom, I don't work so I don't really fit into that mold of business casual, but I still wanna look my best and feel my best every single day. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I tackled my wardrobe that was crazy, eclectic, messy style from the past 10 years and consolidated it into one complete capsule wardrobe. I'm still working on it, but I'm really excited to show you how far I've come and how I got there. Okay, so step number one, before you declutter your clothes, before you even walk into your closet, before you buy something new, I want you to define your style. This can mean a number of things and there's a number of ways you can do that. What I did was chose two words that defined exactly how I wanted my wardrobe to be. And for me, those words are comfortable, I am a stay-at-home mom, and classic. I want pieces that will stand the test of time, that won't be trendy, that you won't be able to tell what year I bought them in. So mine are comfortable and classic. You are welcome to use those, or I encourage you to find ones that work best for you. One of my good friends uses comfy and cute to define her style, and when you see her outfits, you can tell. She just embodies that, and it just describes her so well as a person. The second part of defining my style was figuring out what colors I wanted to work with. I do want to build a capsule wardrobe that works together and that I can interchange pieces. So the colors kind of have to blend together. I did tons of online tests. I put my photo up where I pulled colors from my face and tried to determine if I was a spring or a fall or a winter. And you know, it was all really helpful, but ultimately what I found worked best was my mom actually had these little cards from Dressing Your Truth. And I did a little quiz based on my personality I ended up being a type 3 so this is my little type 3 color card and I was a little hesitant at first I don't really love browns and oranges so much but I thought I would give it a try and really once I looked in my wardrobe <laughs> There was quite a few browns and oranges already in there. So I'm gonna use this type three color card and I feel like it's a really good jumping off point for me. I don't ever feel like I'm very good with color or coordinating things and so just having this as a guideline is going to be really helpful for me. So there's a couple ways you can figure out your colors. One, just pick your favorite colors. If you love them, you're probably gonna look good in them. Two, you can do an online quiz like I did. They're all over the map. You just kind of search, you know, what are my best colors for my skin? Um, three, you can pick a program like this, or you know, you can just have a look at your wardrobe, see what colors are already in there, and chances are those are the ones that probably look best on you. Step number two in our capsule wardrobe journey, I want you to go into your closet and do a super fast purge. As quickly as you can, look through all of the items of your clothing and anything that instantly you know doesn't fit you, doesn't suit you, isn't comfortable, isn't something you're honestly ever going to wear. If you know right away, let's just get those things out of there. Pull them out as fast as you can. You're gonna be surprised at what you had. So I'm gonna show you right now what I did for my pre-purge and it was kind of incredible how many things that were in there I instantly knew I was never gonna wear again. Oh, this I love. This one, no, has to go. This makes me feel frumpy and no, I don't like that. This, <laughs> what is this? Why do I even have this? Okay. Ha, this I've had since I was 22 and for some reason I still feel like I'm going to wear it again. Hmm. I think it's time to say goodbye to you. Okay, goodbye. Okay, there, I made some progress. So that's a pretty big pile of stuff that I knew isn't gonna work for me going forward and there's no point in keeping in my closet. 
So now that we're done, the pre-purge, gotten rid of all that stuff, then we don't even have to think about it. We're gonna move into step number three. And this is where we really dive deep into our lives and decide you know, what it is that we're actually needing clothes for. So what I like to do is consider where you live and the weather, that's really important, and then also the functions of your clothing, where you're wearing your clothes most. So for me, I live in Northern Canada, we have four very distinct seasons. Winter can get down to minus 30, minus 40 here, and the summer gets to like plus 30, sometimes even plus 40. So it's a huge range of temperatures. So I do need four separate wardrobes. If you live somewhere a little bit more temperate, maybe there's not such a big seasonal change, you maybe only need two wardrobes, you know, winter and, and summer, but you determine what works best for you. Once I decided I wanted four distinct wardrobes, I went into my closet and just separated everything out that is not winter, because it's middle of winter right now, so everything that's spring, summer, fall, I just push that to the side, and I'm gonna tackle that as those seasons come. So we're only gonna tackle one season at a time. Don't wanna overwhelm myself. The next thing I did was considered function. So what I want you to do is write down everything in your life that you do for an activity. So this is my list. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show you a close up. And so I also wrote down kind of the amount of things I felt like I needed for each activity. So at the top I put stay at home mom, and then I put 90% because that's 90% of the time I'm spending doing stay at home mom things and I need stay at home mom clothes. I put loungewear in there because I figure I should feel and look good even if I'm having a lazy day. No more greasy sweatpants for me. And then I put down all the activities I participate in. Mine are a lot of sports. That's just my life. I like doing sports. And at the bottom I put date nights 5% because I want to make sure I have nice clothes to wear on date nights. Keep in consideration, you know, we're in this weird COVID time. Your life will go back to the way it was eventually. So don't throw away things you're not using now just because of COVID. But the things you use in your normal life and then write down how much and how many pieces of clothing you think you need for each activity. All right, step number four, and this is probably my favorite part because this is where we really get in to the nitty gritty of decluttering our wardrobe. Now we're gonna get into our closet and go through each piece one at a time, carefully look at it, decide if it fits you, if it serves a function, and if it feels good, we should call that the three Fs. Fit, function, feel. If it meets those three criteria, you can keep it. If the piece does not meet all three criteria, it has to go. I want you to try on every piece of clothing you own and really decide if it's something you're going to wear. So it was actually a lot of fun for me to try on everything in my wardrobe. Some things I hadn't put on in a long time and forgot how great they feel. And some things I just had to put on for a second and remembered, no, I don't like that. So this is what my closet looks like now. Here are my winter sweaters. It's very cold out. On the left is all of the neutrals and on the right are the colors. I really wanna build up that color side a little bit more and try to stay away from the grays. I also kept a few t-shirts for winter and they happen to all be purple or green because those are my favorite colors. Now comes the best part. You have totally decluttered your wardrobe. If you're like me, you may have, you know, maybe a quarter left of what you started with, but that's okay because the stuff you have left is the stuff you actually want to wear. And it's probably the 20% of your wardrobe that you were wearing before. Next, we get to add pieces and build that capsule wardrobe up into a collection of clothing that you love, that feels amazing on you, and you know looks amazing great. So whatever it is that you know you need to add back into your wardrobe, go looking for those things, look with a purpose, and do not settle for anything less than perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to get started building a capsule wardrobe filled with pieces that you absolutely love and make you feel amazing. If you want more tips on how to declutter your clothes or build a capsule wardrobe, make sure to check out the Clutter Free January series. I'll link to it below. I know there's some really awesome YouTubers participating, including my friend Diane in Denmark, and I know she's doing a capsule wardrobe video too. So head over there if you want more capsule wardrobe tips. She has really elevated her wardrobe. It's just incredible. So thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow along with me for the rest of Clutter Free January, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.